switch back to the gun. The Aurora Borealis. Are you ready for the for the Tommy gun? <laughs> This your buffoon. Hello. <laughs> I think he's friendly. Oh no! Not going to close. Faster! I got the blubber! Got his blubber! Uh oh. You can't go anywhere! Welcome to the fourth episode of my Alone in the Dark Let's Play. Let us uh, jump. Right in. We're pr pretty close to the ending, it feels like. On the fourth chapter, we're investigating Dr. Gray's office. What were you saying about mass delusion? Dorsetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It has a history of creating cults devoted to some nature goddess. Even the name Dorsetto refers to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dorsetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer... the black goat of the woods with a thousand young, or Shubnigroth. And that name can only have come from my uncle's twisted mind. You wanna make sure you don't pronounce that name wrong. You could be in a world of problems. So that's not gonna work. We need to find one more piece. This is a weird part of the game where... Like in sort of a bird's eye perspective. Oh, I can go to the toilet. Which is not a toilet. Okay. I'll take it. Furniture key. Huh. Has that been there this whole time? It opens the furniture. Oh, look, did you see? We can't sprint in this from this perspective, but they just sprinted into this room because I was pressing shift down. Oh, I think it's for you. You want to get it? It's for me? Okay. Yeah, let me get it. Yeah, just a second. Just gonna slowly walk over to the phone. Taking my time. Hello? It, it, it can't be. Who is this? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Well, I've done everything you wanted so far, and there's just one more thing on the list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. Investigate the broken clock. Oh, we're uh, time traveling or whatever it is. Insan I call it insanity traveling from now on because we're not really time traveling. 
one guy that we met told us we were like a, a figment of imagination of Jeremy, so maybe it's like we're in his brain or something. And when we traveled to, uh, uh, I forgot the name, Taurella or whatever it was. You think all of them are in this cult business? Even Jeremy? I'm not sure any of them have a choice at this point. We just need to find a way to stop all of this. That's all? Okay, we need to get a number. He said something about he, about this thing and we need to place. But I don't have any stuff to place and I can't interact with it. What we gotta find is a code. A code? A numerical code that lets us... Travel to the right place. Eye of the Possessed. The dagger! That's not a numerical code. First meeting. I got any numbers here? Maybe they're like a somewhere. I can't grab this thing. God damn it. And push it. Pull it. Pull it down. Okay. No. They haven't mentioned the number as far as I know. Yeah, lobotomy. The good old lobotomy here. Who doesn't love a good old lobotomy? I mean, it's it's a scientific method. Uh, it used to be one. It wasn't very scientific, but it was a method. And I think it is something that some people could uh, still use today. They would probably be off better. Let's face it. <laughs> I don't know what, what to set here. There's got to be a hint somewhere. The dagger went through the eye. Maybe it needs to... Maybe we need to align the circles. Oh, there's like a dagger coming down here. Like an arrow. No, this is not it. I mean, the little circle, the little notch look, looks like it could be an eye. Looks like an eye and the dagger is going through, huh? How do we align this? Oh! Got it. Wait, I'm back here? Nothing happened? She's gone now, right? You okay? You look a little frazzled. Just stupid telephone. I know. I tried calling the police earlier. The telephone is completely dead. It's not... Yeah, no, the telephone isn't working. Yeah. It's not working. I'm gonna be leaving through the wardrobe now, yeah? Into the magical dimension? Yeah. <laughs> Miss Hartwood, I think you're gonna want to see this. Is there something in the closet? Yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of fashion metaphor? I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you just tell me what you're doing? You don't see this. It's fine. It's fine. Catch you later. Are you going inside the closet? Yeah. You got a problem with that? No. Do what you think is right, detective. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Goodbye, Miss Hartwood.
Yeah, maybe we're just imagining this, huh? Maybe we're a little bit cray cray. Just a bit, little bit. Enough to uh, travel uh, in closets. Am I in a ship? <sighs> Enter hell. Got a flare gun. Use the flare gun to light up the sky and look for waypoint flags. Light your way forward. We got... Uh, so one is... Oh, one is the flare gun now. And if I keep it pressed, it switches to the pistol. Okay, got it. A sallow offering. Okay, we got this one. The Prisoner of Ice completed. Probably not getting anything they out of it. found the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing the Arctic Ocean after a day of sailing due north of the Eskimo encampment. Jacob van Ostadt was our most keen member of the expedition. He had been chasing down the source of a peculiar type of crystallized metal present in several sacred items among the natives on the northeast coast of Greenland. The site was a remarkable find for any explorer, and we were all enraptured in our search for enlightenment and meaning. The surviving architecture seemed almost unearthly in origin and astonishingly sophisticated. The metal Jacob was searching for was abundant, almost ubiquitous. We were so taken by our find that we were surprised by the sun falling below the horizon. As we quickly picked up our gear, ready to head back to our camp, Jacob von Ostadt declared that he wanted to stay. He was adamant. We begged him to reconsider. The night would be getting colder by the hour, and we feared for all our safety. Jacob refused, threatening us with violence if we wouldn't leave him alone. As the snowfall turned heavier, we left him there on his own. The next day the weather became worse, and we had to spend hours enforcing our shelter as our tents became increasingly useless. The group had written off Jacob, thinking he must be dead. I had an urge to make one final attempt to save him, so I headed out as darkness fell with a handful of flares and headed toward the coast and up the climb towards the Stellarium. That's when I saw him, transfixed by a burning sky, that celestial lantern. Jacob keeled over and let out a painful shriek that struck me with such fear and pity. He was crying in agony, for the cold weather had ravaged his flesh. I called out to him, and he turned to face me. His vacant stare held me in place like a needle through a butterfly, and he said, You must leave now, Hashtan. Go, and never come back. And so I left. <sighs> Back in this hell. Flares, we can get more flares here. Let's get a melee weapon, an ice pick. And now let's save the game before we leave here. I don't think we're, we're gonna be very welcome in this deadly storm. Looking for flags or something, right? Oh no. 
Oh, I got got one. This is a madness. Maddening madness. Can I turn this on? I hope this helps. I can see the flag in front of us. Looking for the flag. I think I can already see it. There we go. Oh, we're going up there. Okay. Switch back to the gun. The Aurora Borealis. The Northern Lights. They're very Borealis. Too Borealis, some would say. Can I have a Borealis with my Borealis? No? Okay. This one doesn't have a lamp that we can turn on. Do we need an ice pick here? No. Yeah, let's jump into the moving thing and see what happens. Maybe we get torn apart if we're lucky. There's something there, somebody, or something. It's not going to be friendly, is it? I'm going to save it. I can't save. Yeah, that thing's going to attack us, huh? Hey, you! What are you doing here? What is this place? Detective, you're not wanted here. Whoa, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're wrong, Detective. You're wrong. No, I can't move. Oh, oh, just kidding. I can't move! What is this crap? They're like always locking you in the corner and you can't move. You shoot them, you want to leave it? Oh! 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 And then of course I don't get in control of the character before he's already on hey, me. Hey you! Right? What are you doing I here? wait until he's hitting me what in the face. What is this place? Turn back, detective. I can't move. Oh, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're wrong, detective. You're wrong. He just doesn't care about headshots, huh? Oh, there's two of them. Uh, wait, excuse me. Ooh, this is this better not be a dead end. At that end. 
Excuse me. Yeah. What is that? What is this in the snow? I can't even get it. Oh my god, what a troll. Put the thing in the snow. What is it? What is it? And then... Pfft. It's a great experience. Hey you! What are you doing here? What is this place? Here we go again. Turn back, detective. Here we go You're again. Not wanted here. Whoa, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're wrong, detective. You're wrong. Yeah. Oh, we go this way. Oops, excuse me. I can't go in. Oh. I need to kill it. I need to kill him disappeared and then he's coming from wherever he wants yeah <laughs> nice one oh now he's coming from somewhere else I can't move She's supposed to be a boss fight or something weird. Stop cheating. Jacob von Van Ostade. Wait, we got 16 pistol bullets here. Okay, so we had to kill this guy. And now we can go in. Sacrificial dagger. stars align, Jeremy, or ah, maybe that is what you need to temper that mania of yours. Switch discs. Let's do the discs first. Almost, almost, and BIM! Now we need to align the whole thing. Wait, I can't see anything. Stop it! Epic boss fight! <laughs> 
epic. Are you ready for the... For the Tommy gun? <laughs> Take this, you buffoon! Oh, I'm stuck. I can't move! You gotta be kidding me, I got stuck against this crap. Was clearly my fault, yeah, because I made the game, you know, yeah. Wow, just get stuck dead, against this you? crap. You piece of crap. Number one. I'm all out of bullets. Okay, Bobby. Bailey. Wait, what? Sir, your medicine has arrived. Awake? You are awake. Mr. Conby's up. Hey, buddy. I thought you'd be knocked out for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling you, but you're being violent. You stabbed Jeremy, and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they... okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. Really? All thanks to you, Combat. You wanna try standing up? Well, if it isn't the hero of the day... How are you feeling, Detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. 
What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But he's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. Oops. Was that me? <laughs> yeah. I think I'm normal. Does Emily know about Jeremy's condition? Yes. She seems to be handling it quite well under the circumstances. Alright, I will be leaving myself out then. Wait, we do have... Uh, your... Everything was back to normal. Did any of it really happen? What had Conby actually been doing all night? Go back to New Orleans with Jamily, Jamily, I mean Jeremy and Emily <laughs> Hartwood. I guess if you combine them, it's Jamily. Go back with Jamily. Good to see you back on your feet, Detective. Have some gumbo. Thanks. I'll save it for later. Isn't it Goomba and not Gomba? All right, tell me what the hell's about to happen here. Every year we have a little turn the page ceremony by the tree. It's symbolical. Symbol. It's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness. You know, just like a tree facing the seasons. Things change, but remain the same. What is she doing? She's washing the tree. We had like two things that we uh, we were supposed to do. We, get, uh, we got frost as a key that we had to put into the globe. And we had something that we had to do at the tree. But then the game just decided I'm going to go cutscene Bonanza from here on. And we can't do anything else. And now here we are. We can't go back into the house, I think. <laughs> hey, kid. What are you up to? Preparing for the ceremony. I don't want to disappoint Mother. What a great conversationalist. Let's see. Can we do something here? I still have my light. I don't think I got my items anymore. I think the game's officially over unless I somehow can go back. Wait for Miss Hartwood? No. Let's talk to the her first. That is one impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. <laughs> that's okay, that's the conversation, yo. Okay. Can't go back here and go through that door. We got the smoking lady. Hey, Glad to see you made it back to Dorsetto. You too, detective. Make sure to stay for the festivities. It's no Mardi Gras, but it ain't bad. So we accidentally lobotomized the guy, huh? <laughs> what a great ending. Oh, man. Does she still want to take Jeremy away from Dorsetto? I will have to insist that you do. This is not that kind of institution. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I was seeing things and uh, thought I killed the pharaoh, you know, but it turns out it was you that I lobotomized, so... <laughs> yeah. What are you so looking for? You know. Just keeping an eye out for the stone. Radio says it could be a wild one. Yeah, and we're gonna, we're gonna leave during the storm? That sounds good. Okay, I think I'm ready. I can't do anything else. Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. 
I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, we need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Hell, there are praises and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Ever Hear there us, Emma, and the and 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 the black goat of the woods. Take pity on us. Hear us, Emma, and take pity on us. Take pity on us. And take pity on us. Ever there are praises and abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother, and take pity on us. Are you crazy? This is what needs to happen, Carpenter. Grace, stop! Come with me! Get over here! <laughs> Jeremy, come with me! Jeremy, come here! No! There has to be another one! We're doomed! No! 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 The tree is getting the num nums. It's getting hangry. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I didn't expect this. I can't let this. that monster leave Dorsetto. I have to stop it. So this is the true boss fight now. Okay. Grace. I think Grace is the little girl. She survived. Uh, where am I going? I can't go anywhere here. Hello? Here. No. This is a, I, I won't lie, this is a little bit anticlimactic here. Oh, here, there, here we go. Here, here, here we go. Epic cutscene, and then you're lost. <laughs> and you know where to go. Uh, save the game. It's probably going to be the last save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some debris as a weapon. It's good enough for me. Hello. <laughs> I think he's friendly. Oh, no, not too close. Yeah, 
Doesn't want me to go that way. An elephant. Oh, do I stab it? Go and stab it. I can't stab it. What am I doing here? I don't know what to do. Killing his minions. I'm all out of bullets. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Oh, killing me softly with his legs. Stop walking slowly, you buffoon! Shooting his tentac, his uh, his blubber. Machine gun cartridge. Faster! I got the blubber! Got his blubber! <laughs> Does he have more? Oh shit! Uh oh. You can't go anywhere! Oh. Out of the developer's mom. Oh, where's the small one? Oh, here in front of me. <laughs> God damn it. You're kidding me, you little shit. Oh, he's got blubber everywhere now. Machine gun cartridge. Oh, I need to reload. Uh 
Oh. Stand up! much evidence. Their devotion to the black goat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Well, you're welcome, buddy. How are you doing, sweetie? like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Don't leave her. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us. I guess this uh, concludes Alone in the Dark Remake Let's Play. I did enjoy it. Mostly it's very... I, I, I don't know what to think of the part where we... Where half of the game is like outside of the house. I kind of like mansion horror to stay in the mansion. Like Resident Evil, the original Alone in the Dark and uh, lots of remakes. But it's, it's a new mechanic. It's not really bad traveling all over the place. It's just a little bit less alone in the dark. I guess it's a new twist. But uh, I have somewhat mixed feelings. Combat was pretty horrible. Mouse acceleration was bad. It wasn't really optimized for keyboard or for PC, but we managed to pull through with my uh, superior hardware of my, uh, you know, uh, self-constructed water-cooled PC. <laughs> Maybe that's the edge that makes it a little bit more playable, but it was very annoying in parts. The story was probably the best part. It's very cinematic. I'm not a big fan of that, but it can work well in horror games. And yeah, what really bothered me is that we couldn't explore everything before the game. It always stuffed us into a certain direction. It pushed us in a direction, started the cutscenes, closed the door behind us. Now you're going to go this way. We're not going to go what's with the globe. We're not going to know what's with the globe. There's, I think, like two or three things that were left open that we couldn't explore. Because you, you possibly, you can't possibly know the order in which to explore things when you're playing this the first time. And then you're just stuck going a certain way. If you go through the wrong door. <laughs> Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. I definitely did enjoy it. And I'll be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.